Oh, oh, God damn it, Lydia. Every time you start getting likable, you just throw it all away in like a matter of seconds. It's, it's crazy how you do that. Anyway, new issue came out for The Walking Dead comic books, and if you don't know, the third compendium came out before, I believe, season six premiered. So if you want to pick it up, it's available. As of now, I'm a broke-ass college student, so I can't pick it up. But I do have the other two, and I'll pick it up whenever I have the money to do so. Anyway, this issue was, uh, I like this issue. This issue was a lot. There wasn't much action per se, but it, there was definitely a lot of character development, which is always good. So we pick up where we last left off last time, which basically it's uh, Eugene telling, hey, we have the uh, Alpha's daughter, we have Lydia, let's use her to our advantage. You know, we don't essentially have to hurt her, we could just bluff it, but if, they, if she doesn't believe the bluff, hey, we can kill her if we want to, stuff like that. And both Rick and Andrew are like, dude, come on, They're, the reason why Alpha let us have her was because she know that her people are messed up, and that, you know, something more deep down, Alpha actually loves Lydia, you know, stuff like that. And they ask Eugene to leave, and then Eugene is like, whatever, I was done anyway. And basically, Michonne comes and is like, hey, I came here to, you know, uh, take Lydia away, but Andrea already does that with Carl and stuff like that. And we'll get to that part first. And basically how, like, basically word travel, like, word travel rounds fast, where basically everyone's, like, on board of, like, using Lydia as, you know, as a bargaining tool. Anyway, Rick has a heart-to-heart -heart moment with Michonne talking about how he's actually happy now with Andrea, which I honestly enjoyed. He's like talking about how, you know, being with Andrea now, you know, both of them have lost, both of them have suffered, both of, both of them have gone through things, and now they're together, they're actually happy. It's like they don't have to hide anything from like each other, and then he compares it to his life before with Lori, talking about how, you know, you know, with Lori, when he goes to work, he has, you know, he builds up this wall. He's, like, constantly distant from Lori when he comes home. You know, him and Lori aren't always on the same page. They get mad at each other. You know, like, common relationship stuff, like, the normal relationship stuff. But, like, as soon as the zombie apocalypse hits, him and Andrew just get each other. Because they know what they need to do to survive together. And they can do it together. They don't, there's not, like, no more difference. They understand why like certain stuff needs to happen which i enjoy it and i think my favorite line out of this issue is coming out of rick where he says like you know i had to sacrifice both my wife and my daughter in order for me to ha be happy and it's just it's just mind-blowing because he actually if you think about it he, rick is happy you know he's with andrea he's with somebody that he cares about and loves he still has his son and his son is grown up and he can take care of himself you know, he still has to be a dad and, you know, still love him and all that, but he knows that Carl can take care of himself. And, you know, it contrasts with, like, with Michonne, how Michonne gave her two daughters to her husband, and then her husband ends up becoming a walkers, you know, stuff like that. And it's just, you know, she ran away from Ezekiel because she thought she wasn't allowed to be happy with what she did, what happened with her daughters. And it's just big contrast, and, you know, the, just the moment between, you know, Rick and Michonne was honestly the best thing, and I, you know, at one point, I do kind of hope that, you know, that they kind of touch on this in the show, because I would love to see it in the show, just seeing it with Denai and Andrew Lincoln, just seeing that moment will be just awesome, because that's probably in my most recent memory of The Walking Dead that I truly enjoyed. Anyway, let's talk about Andrea, Carl, and Lydia, and oh my lord, Lydia, please. <sighs> what are you doing, girl? Like... You know, in sort of sense, I can get where she's coming from. And if you haven't read the comic, let me just, you know, break it down real quick. Is basically Lydia is asking, why are we going somewhere else when you told me specifically that I can be here and be safe and your per people won't attack me? Isn't that the reason why I came? And how can you tell me my mother loves me and all this? And, you know, from Lydia's standpoint, I can see where she's coming from. But I don't understand why she's freaking out and pulling guns on Andrea, right? Because if I swear to God, if Andrea dies, I... Lydia is going down, like, being the first person to die list. Like, Negan is still on that list because of what he did to Glenn. But, you know, if Lydia kills Andrea, that's it. I, I don't I don't even think Carl would be okay with that. Because Carl, this episode, I totally forget that Carl does this. But he calls Andrea mom, which I thought is fantastic. And it's like, if Carl, or, like, I'm pretty sure Carl would not be okay with, like, Lydia, you know, doing what she did. I'm pretty sure Carl would, like, knock her out, bury her back and be like, Dad, she killed Andrea. Use her as a bargaining tool. I don't care anymore. That that pussy ain't worth it. 
But one thing I do want to point out is, and maybe it's just me personally, but you know, you know how when you look at Facebook pictures and you know when you look at the pictures of the past, you think, oh my lord, I was the most ugliest human being on the earth, and you know, stuff like that. You know, I feel like everyone goes through that, but then like as you get older, you feel like you get more attractive, and you know, whatever the situation may be. But uh, I, I think it, it might be just me, but I think Andrea has gotten a lot more, like she's gotten much more attractive as like since the time skip and you know as like as Rick gets older Andrea gets more attractive so uh, I think I'm okay with that but I do know that since my last review I believe two new issue covers have come out for 149 and 150 uh, I believe 149 it, it has Negan you know hovering over Rick and Rick is sitting down and I believe there's a bunch of blood everywhere and then issue 150 I believe it has Rick both his hand and his robotic hand, or his mechanical hand, are like all covered in blood, and he just looks really pissed off. He's not even using his cane. So I'm excited on what's going down, because that's what, three issues from now? And I'm just plain excited. Anyway, overall, my thoughts on this issue were that it was good. I enjoyed it. Great character development from Rick to Michonne to Andrea. Like, I didn't touch on Andrea too much, but basically, like, Andrea's character development was, it was kind of tiny, where it was basically when she's talking to Rick after Eugene leaves, she's like, Hey, I'm gonna take Lydia and Carl and go to the hilltop, you know, and you know, stuff like that, where she says, I know what I need to do, don't worry, I can handle myself, and not only that, you can't both run this community and watch out for your son and his girlfriend, you know, or his psycho girlfriend, more like, more or less, at the same time, so let me handle him and his psycho girlfriend, which I do not approve of, which I really enjoyed. But then, you know, and Rick handles with, like, the Alexandrians. But yeah, those are just my thoughts on this issue. Let me know yours down in the comments below. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. I'll see you guys all next time. So until then, bye bye